What was it about, uh, you know, Oregon State? I know they're a really lengthy team, but it seemed like you guys were kind of able to exploit that length and get some backdoor stuff. What, what was it about no. them that you were able to kind of exploit tonight? We just wanted to execute our plays, you know, and uh, I think we did a good job tonight. Uh, I mean, really, tonight we should have play. You know, mm-hmm. and we wanted to win for him, more than ourselves. So, um, great honor, you know, and so I think we did. We had to do for any of the three of you guys, what, what, what kind of hype was it like? Where, you know, every time you have a good play, you run over the side and you get, get a high five from Clay. Did that just you know boost yeah. the hype even more? That was awesome, man. You know, like for anybody, you know, just having um, Steph, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, you know, especially what Clay means to Pullman and means to WSU. Um, it was really special, you know, to have that environment too. And they just kept pushing for us, and that's awesome to have two NBA superstars, Hall of Famers, right at your, you know, right at your side. And Isaac, what was working so well, well tonight for you? Was it just you know you came in feeling it a little bit? Um, honestly, I just came in with the same mindset. Um, you know, I've just been watching a lot of films, um, sitting in the film room, and just trying to come with the same approach and um, do the important things first: defend, rebound, um, and then let the game come to me. For both uh, Isaac and CJ, can you talk about the play where uh, Isaac you had the steal and flicked it behind your back to CJ? CJ obviously finished it off at the end one. It didn't surprise me, you know, he gets the ball, you know, everywhere on the floor with, with all kinds of passes, and uh, I mean, tonight he just played spectacular, you know, and uh, whenever the ball was in his hands, I knew something special was going to happen, and uh, I mean, it was just electric out there tonight, and the crowd, and the energy in the, uh, in the building, um, it was amazing. And Isaac, can you talk about that, that, that play, too, and how, how it kind of developed? And uh, I know, man, honestly, whenever I, get, whenever I get the ball, I know I got two guys right here that run the floor like crazy, and so... And it's bound to be a highlight play every time I flip it back to him. So uh, whenever CJ's trailing me, you know, he's going to practice. You know, it just it comes natural. You know, just to flip it to him. Um, and strong bench with contact. And got the and one out big for it. And for both uh, Noah and CJ, how, how, how fun is it to watch uh, to watch Isaac when, he, when he's on like that? Uh, um, man, I mean, I just see the work my boy puts in every day. He's in the gym before practice. And he's in the gym after practice. And he really gets his shots up. And we all do, you know. So it's great to see when, when one of your teammates heat up and get um, get hot. And really, he's pulling threes. I was talking to him after the game, boy. He pulling threes from clay range, man. He's hooping, he's hooping, bro. Keep on doing that. And for you too, CJ. Same question. But Isaac. Um, can you ask it again? Yeah, just just uh, when 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 when, uh, when Isaac's on like that, how, how fun is it to watch him play? Um, it's it's fun to watch, you know. But I think it's more fun to just be his teammate and. Um, you know, you just make plays with the ball, and when you can do that, you know, and create so much, not only for yourself, but for your teammates, you're always a threat on the floor. And so um, just to be able to have that kind of teammate, you know, to put that kind of pressure on the defense, um, I, I, I take us any game, you know. And uh, I think it's just this week, you know, 2-0, and home sweep. And so I think that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. Yes, the Oregon school is too. Oregon school. He has to make that clear. <laughs> Portland boy. You guys have a, had a rough weekend last weekend. So, what what was the mindset? How did you change coming into this weekend? Uh, man, you know, coming off that Stanford loss, man. They, credit to them, they were a really special team. You know, defensively, they were on us. Uh, they were on all their, you know, all their coverages. And um, so we just, you know, after that game, it was an adversity. You know, we hit adversity, and I'm I'm just super proud of my guys. The way we bounced back, the way um, we came into practice, you know, the same. You know, just came back to Pullman and really wanted to work. You know, we knew that in the Pac-12, what's so special about it is when you play one team, you can have a bad night, but then the next game, four days later, you play, you know, a good team, you know, not if not better team. So we had Oregon, um, and, you know, we had Peyton, and then we had Oregon State. And so um, it was big for us, you know, to bounce back, you know, have that same mindset of um, we're not going to let this uh, fold us and break us, but we're going to become stronger from it. In the in the shooting, you guys have kind of struggled shooting opening Pac-12 play. Is it just was it just time for the shots to fall, or you've been looking at tape like you said? Uh, let's just give that credit to Clay and Steph. <laughs> <laughs> they came into the gym and made the, the gym hot. Yeah, real hot. And Noah, what was it like uh, as a freshman to come in? You kind of you seem to handle the pressure really well. The big crowd and, and you know Clay and Steph and every, all that going on. You, you seem to play, you know more control than you have all year. I mean, I've just been playing basketball all my life. I think I'm made for this, you know? So just going out there and just having, having the fight and the will to want to win, you know? Just going out there every night and having, having that one to, to be great.
and what did, what changed defensively after you know OSU was kind of having their way inside initially, but the second half they, you guys pretty much locked that down until the last couple minutes. So what changed there? Um, going into the second half, you know we're in the locker room and uh, we have been trading baskets like we said all half, and uh, our coaches you know let us know that the team who can figure out to stop the, how to stop the other is going to win. And uh, I think we did that down the stretch. I think we got more stops. Uh, I think we're more solid on defense. And um, we, got, we came out victorious again. And what was it like? Um, how would you respond to that uh, quick run that OSU had um, with about five minutes left to cut the lead down? You guys came right back after a timeout and stretched the lead back out. What did, what did Coach Schmidt say to you? Just got to value our possessions. Um, you know, it's a game of runs, and we tried to limit theirs. And uh, we knew that it was going to come. They started pressuring and, and full court pressing us. We just had to take care of the ball and uh, value every possession. And then, of course, Isaac Bonton with the ball in his hands. You know. Thank you. Play. Guys, this atmosphere that was here today hasn't been in this arena for well, since the, the guy that was honored today was playing. Is this, did it, two part question. Did it really make it much more fun, much more easy to play? And secondly, how good, how would it make you feel to see this kind of atmosphere every night? That would be awesome. You know, um, to, to answer your question about, you know, having a crowd like that, um, we know that it may not be sold out every game, you know, but to have that support from our student section and all our fans um, around the whole state and, you know, just to have that atmosphere was ridiculous. Um, credit to everyone that works in Beasley. Um, they did a really good job of organizing the whole thing. And, um, it was just special, you know, it was awesome to have that electric environment. Yeah, I think it, um, I think it makes a big difference, you know, when, uh, when we have them on our side, it makes it hard for the other team. And I, I could just tell when, when the crowd started getting into it and getting loud, they, they, they felt it, we felt it too, and it was our energy and it helped us, you know. And so uh, if we can make that consistent, you know, I think, I think it's gonna be a good year. Isaac, did, did you really want to send a message to, to, the, to Oregon and Oregon State, two, two schools that obviously didn't recruit you and offer you? Um, you know, personally, I, I feel, you know, some type of pride, you know, about the Northwest, um, Portland, you know, and even Seattle. You know, I feel like we don't get a lot of the credit we deserve as um, talent. You know, we have a lot of talent coming out, um, you know, the top of the top left of the country. and. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a chip on my shoulder, you know, the, um, having those schools look, overlook me and everything. And, um, but I'm really proud to be here, you know, proud to be a Coug, and um, oh, yeah. I think it shows. Anything else? Okay. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. <laughs>